So welcome, welcome to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, as we always say, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also uh, appreciate and see the beauty in the simpler problems. So today we continue on the second part of the 2024 Integration B Qualifying Exams. So we cover problem 11 to 20 today. And before I start on this, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for your continued support. We don't take it for granted. Your support is what keeps us going. And that's why we're here today. Uh, for our first time visitors, what we do here is we look at uh, various problems that seem hard and we come back and propose solutions to you. And also for our repeating um, visitors, we'd like to encourage you, if you don't mind, please uh, subscribe to our channel. Your support will be much appreciated. So uh, problem 11 is as shown here. Uh, problem 12 uh, follows next. Problem 13, uh, problem 14, problem 15, problem 16, problem 17, problem 18, problem 19, and problem 20. So on to problem 11, um, the integral, uh, this indefinite integral of cosecant uh, squared of x times the tangent to the power 2024 x. So uh, the first thing I do here is express this in form of sine x and cosine x. So we have one over sine x squared cosine squared x times sine to the power 2024 x over cosine 2024 x. So uh, we could divide, uh, and so uh, we are left with uh, one over cosine squared x uh, sine to the power 2022 x, because this two cancels with the two up and you 2022 x over cosine to the power 2022 x. So essentially we are left with second squared x tangent to the power 2022 x. Now, second squared x can be expressed as the derivative of the tangent x, and then multiply tangent to the power to the 22x. So what you can see here is that this is simply uh, the derivative, this product here is the derivative of one over 2023 times two tangent of 2023 uh, x. And so since we have a derivative under this integration sign, what that means is that this is the integral of uh, this uh, expression. So we have 1, 000, 1 over 2023 times tangent to the power 2023 x plus integration constant. And this is our answer. This is our answer. Next problem, uh, problem 12, is the integral of uh, cosine to the power x of x times the natural logarithm of cosine x minus x tangent x. So one thing I could do is uh, if we know that a function fx is the same as e to the power natural logarithm of fx, so we express if our fx is this cosine to the power x of x, um, this is how we express it now. We've used this entire formalism. So we can now push the x to this side. And so we are left with uh, e to the power x natural logarithm of cosine x times the log of uh, cosine x. And since there is a hidden one here, we have that being expressed as the derivative of uh, x. Um, and here, sorry, um, we should have expressed it as the derivative of log of cosine x. And so um, that being taken into consideration, um, all right, so this is how we be ex expressing that. So this is just the same as uh, the derivative of the product of x and log, a uh, natural logarithm of cosine x. So we can express it as e to the power x log natural logarithm of cosine x times the derivative of x times the natural logarithm of cosine x. So this is 
obvious that this is the same as the derivative of e to the power x natural logarithm of cosine x. Uh, since when you're deriving this, you'd have to, uh, the derivative of e to the power x is the same as e to the power x, but if you have another function, we'll have e to the power of that function times the derivative of that function. And so this is what we have here, and therefore the answer is e to the power x log cosine x, a natural logarithm of cosine x plus c. And since uh, this here is the same as this, uh, the final answer is cosine to the power x of x plus the integration constant c. And that's the answer. So problem number 13, which is the integral from x equals to negative infinity to positive infinity of e to the power uh, negative uh, open bracket x minus 2024 squared over 4. I uh, could first of all begin by saying let u be equal to x minus 2024 over 2, the square root of uh, 4 here. And so du dx is the same as a half. And so 2 du is the same as dx. So you can substitute twice du uh, in place of dx. And so now coming back here, when x is inf negative infinity, definitely there's no much difference here. You would be the same as negative infinity. And when x is infin positive infinity, you would still remain. Or if when x tends to positive infinity, you would also tend to that. So we've substituted accordingly the limit, uh, negative infinity or limit, upper limit, positive infinity, e to the power. Uh, so in place of, uh, x minus 2024 over 2 is u, and so that squared is u squared. So we have that here, and we have 2 du in place of dx. So twice uh, the integral of uh, from u equals to uh, tending to negative infinity to u tending to positive infinity will be the power negative u squared uh, du. Uh, so this is uh, our Gaussian integral. So uh, from uh, literature, we know that uh, the integral of this Gaussian function is twice times, this alone is uh, square root of pi, but now we have two here, so we have two times the square root of pi. Uh, problem number four, which is the integral from Mexico to one over e to the power e, uh, this is the exponential constant. Uh, so let u be equal e to the power x plus one over x, and so du dx is one minus uh, x squared times e to the power uh, x plus one x. And so uh, that means that du, since this is u over u is the same as one minus x squared uh, dx. Uh, so this product of this and this can be swapped out with u. Now looking at the limits when uh, x is equals one over e, u would be uh, e to the power e plus one over e when x is e the same thing uh, and so as you can see the upper limit and i mean the lower limit and the upper limit are the same uh, and this is the same as e to the power u uh, du um, so what that means is that if we integrate this number since the limits are the same um, we get zero uh, and that's the answer of zero Number 15, the integral of x plus, x plus one minus e to the power negative x uh, times e to the power x e x. Uh, so what I can do here is uh, pretty much uh, multiplying this uh, across. So we get x times e to the power x uh, times e to the power x plus e to, to the power x times e to the power x minus e to the power x open bracket e to the power x minus one. So if we pull this out um, such that this is out here and everything in bracket, we're still left with x times e to the power x plus e to the power x minus one times e to the power x times e to the power x minus one. And so um, definitely as we can see here is that we have a hidden one here, which is not a derivative of x, and this here is the same as the derivative of e x minus one, right? So we have x times the derivative of e to the power x minus one plus e to the power x minus one times the derivative of x. So looking at this, this is the same as the derivative of uh, the product of two function e to the power x minus one and x, and so this is the same as the derivative of e 
x times e to the power x minus 1. Uh, open brackets, e to the power x times e x minus 1. Um, and as you can see, uh, this is also the same as the derivative of e to the power x times e to the power x minus 1. Um, and since this is what we have under the integral sign, uh, the answer now is just e to the power x times e to the power x minus 1 plus the integration constant c. Problem number 16, which is the arctangent of x over 1 minus x squared plus the arctangent uh, arc hyperbolic tangent of x over uh, 1 uh, plus x squared. So uh, essentially what we can see here is that this here, 1 over 1 minus x is the same as the derivative of the hyperbolic tangent of x. And then 1 over 1 plus x squared is the same as the derivative of arctangent of x. So as you can see here, this is the same as the derivative of a product of a uh, two function, that is arctangent of x and arctangent tangent of x. So expressing that as the derivative of uh, the product of arctangent of x and arc tangent of x and arc uh, tangent of x, uh, this means that when you integrate this derivative, you just get arc tangent of uh, hyperbolic tangent of x times the arc tangent of x and then the integration constant. Problem number 17, which is the integral of the summation from k equals to 0 to infinity of uh, the sine of uh, k pi over 2 uh, times x to the power k. Um, this can also be expressed as the sum of the integral uh, of um, um, or the integral of the sine of pi over 2x plus, plus sine of 2 pi over 2x squared and so on and so on. So this here tends to 0, this tends to 0, and you're left with the integral of uh, sine of pi over 2 is 1, sine of 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, so x minus x cubed plus x to the power 5 minus x to the power 7. And as you can see here, this is a geometric progression, initial value x, uh, common ratio is negative x squared, so we have x squared. So expressing it that way, as you can see, this is the same as uh, when integrated half of natural logarithm of 1 plus x squared, since uh, half x is the derivative uh, I mean, sorry, uh, x, 2x is the derivative of uh, 1 plus x squared, so uh, there is a hidden constant of half there, and this is our answer. Problem 18, which is the integral from x equals to 0 to 1 of the summation from n equals to 0 to 2024 of x to the power 2 to the power n minus uh, 1012. Um, as I can Express this, this is also the same as the um, sum from n equals 0 to 2024 of the integral of x to the power 2 to the power n minus 1011. Um, this is obviously the same as 1 over 2 to the power n minus 1012 plus 1 uh, times x to the power 2 to the power n minus 1012 uh, plus 1 with the limits applied appropriately. So what that means is that we have the sum because when we substitute one here, it's all we left with zero, I think vanishes. So we have the summation from n equals to zero to 24, one over to the power n minus two, 1012 plus one. So when you add this together, you have one over two minus, when n equals to zero, we have negative 1012 plus one. When n is equals to one, we have two to the power 1011 plus one and all the way to when n is equals to 1,012, we have to the power zero plus one, and then when n is equals to 1,024, we have to the power 1,012 plus one. Um, so multiplying uh, by two to the power uh, 1,012, both in the denominator and denominator here, we now get two to the power 1,000, 12 over 1 plus 2 to the power 1012, and the same applies when 2, we multiply 2 to the power 1011 and so on. Um, 
and in the positive side where the power is positive, we don't do anything. Uh, but what, what you can see here is that you can combine this and that, and obviously the previous value with that, and so on. And so you have two to the power, 1,012 plus one over one plus 2,012. As you can see, these values are the same. These values are the same. So we have one, one, until we have a, a half here. So we have one plus one plus one until we get a half when n is equals to uh, 1,012. And that means is that we have 2,024, I mean 1,024, sorry, uh, 1,012 plus a half, which results into uh, 2,025 over two. That's the final answer. So number 19, which is x to the power of four over three minus six x plus six x squared minus four x cubed plus two x to the power of four. So we do long division. In here we have x to the power of four divided by three minus six x plus six x squared minus four x cubed plus two x to the power of four. Uh, so multiplying a half by the divisor, we get three over two minus three x plus three x squared minus two x to the power of three plus x to the power of four. And so when we subtract, uh, we get uh, negative three over two plus three x minus three x squared plus two x cubed. And so x to the power of four over three minus six x plus six x squared plus four x cubed plus two x to the power of four is the same as a half plus uh, this value over the divisor. And so when we pull a quarter out, we're left with a quarter minus six plus 12x minus 12x squared plus uh, four x cubed over three minus six x plus six x cubed minus four x cubed plus two x to the power of four. As you can see is this is the same as the derivative of the denominator. And so when integrating this, you just get a natural logarithm of the function the denominator. So uh, the answer now is uh, a half, x plus a quarter, natural logarithm of three minus six x plus six x squared minus four x cubed plus two x to the power of four plus the integration constant c. Uh, problem number 20, which is the integral from uh, one to uh, x equals one to x equals to three of x plus x plus dot 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 over one plus dot 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 over one plus x plus dot 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 over one. So as you can see is that this uh, value since it sends to infinity, is the same as the entire uh, function. So if we let y be equal to x plus x plus dot 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 and so on, uh, this is the same as y is equals to uh, x plus, this is y, and one plus again y here. So multiply uh, this denominator uh, across both the left and right hand side, we get y squared plus y is equals to x plus y. And since this cancel out, y squared is the same as x, and therefore y should be equal to the square root of x. So this is the same as, this integral is the same as um, the integral of square root of x from x equals to one to uh, x equals to power three. And since this is the same as x to the power half, so when you add one to that, we get, um, and then divided by that, so divide, uh, getting the reciprocal of the new uh, power, we get two over three times um, x to the power three over two uh, with limits one and three. And substituting in the limits, we have two over three, uh, three to the power three over two minus one to the power three over two. So this tends to one, and this tends to three times square root of three. And so um, this square root of three remains, and then the three here divides with this. So we have two times the square root of three, minus uh, two thirds, and that is our answer. So thank you so much for uh, hanging along with us. It was an absolute pleasure, uh, you know, uh, going through these problem sets. I hope you've, uh, you'll enjoy as well, and uh, you found this uh, helpful. So until next time, to uh, look a la prochaine fois. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, your support is much needed. Thank you.